An hilarious dating fails you won't believe actually happened. Today we're diving deep into the crazy world of dating fails. Those hilariously cringe-worthy moments that make you want to crawl under a rock and never show your face again. But don't worry, we've all been there, making these stories so relatable and honestly iconic. And brace yourselves because the number one story is the clingiest, most embarrassing dating fail. So grab your snacks, get comfy and get ready to double tap that like button. Because this video is about to be lit, let's get into it. Number 10, the catfish catastrophe. Okay, so this one's a classic. You match with someone on Tinder who looks like an absolute snack. Their profile pics are on point, their bio is fire, and you're already fantasizing about your future wedding. But when you finally meet up in real life, it's like they use the Snapchat filter on their pics because they look nothing like their profile. Talk about a significant catfish situation. We've all been there, swiping right on someone who ends up being a total catfish. But this particular story takes the cake. This guy, let's call him Mike, matched with this girl, who looked like a straight-up supermodel in her pics. He was so excited for the date that he even picked out his freshest fit. But when he showed up at the restaurant, he legitimately didn't even recognize the girl waiting for him. It turns out that her pictures were taken 10 years and 50 pounds ago. Yikes. Mike didn't want to be a complete jerk. So he stuck around for the date, but it was painfully awkward. He said it felt like he was on a date with someone's aunt or something. Honestly, I don't know if I could have handled that situation as smoothly as Mike did. Major props to him for not just dipping out right then and there. Number 9. The Bathroom Blunder This one's a doozy. So, you know how first dates can be super nerve-wracking? You're all jittery trying to make a good impression, and honestly, sometimes your body just betrays you in the worst way possible. That's exactly what happened to this poor girl, whom we'll call Samantha. She was on a first date with this guy she really liked, and things were going pretty well. They were vibing, cracking jokes, and generally having a good time. But then disaster struck. Samantha felt the urgent need to use the restroom, but when she got up from the table, she accidentally knocked over her full glass of water, spilling it all over herself and the table. We're talking about a full-on tsunami of water just gushing everywhere. Most people in that situation would probably just laugh it off and clean up the mess, but not Samantha. Oh no, she was so mortified that she legitimately booked it out of the restaurant leaving her date completely dumbfounded. Can you imagine being the guy in that situation? One minute, you're having a great time, and the next, your date just straight up vanishes into thin air, leaving you to deal with the watery aftermath all by yourself. Talk about a mood killer. Number eight, the milkshake mishap. So you know how sometimes you try to be smooth and sophisticated, but it just backfires spectacularly. That's exactly what happened to this guy, whom we'll call Tyler. Tyler was on a date with this girl he'd been crushing on for months. They decided to grab some food at a classic diner, and Tyler thought he'd try to impress her with his milkshake drinking skills. Like in those cheesy rom-com where the guy slurps up the milkshake all seductively, and the girl swoons. Tyler's attempt did not go as planned. Instead of looking like a total stud, he ended up with a massive milkshake moustache that would shame even the hairiest dudes. And to make matters worse, he didn't even realize it until his date started cracking up uncontrollably. Imagine being in that situation, just trying to enjoy your milkshake and maybe even steal a kiss or two, but instead, you end up looking like a complete and utter goober. Poor Tyler was so embarrassed that he couldn't even play it off as a joke. He just sat there, milkshake moustache turning redder by the second. Number 7. The Wardrobe Malfunction We've all had those moments where our outfit just doesn't cooperate, am I right? But this next story takes that to a whole new level of cringeworthy. This guy, let's call him Alex, was super hyped for his date with this girl he'd been talking to for a while. He picked out his freshest fit, did his hair all nice, 
and even spritzed on some cologne to seal the deal. But as soon as he stood up to greet his date, he heard an ominous ripping sound coming from the back of his pants. Yep, you guessed it, his pants had split right down the middle, exposing his tighty whities for the whole world to see. Can you even imagine how mortifying that must have been? There's Alex thinking he's looking like a total stunner, only to realize that his entire backside is on full display. Talk about a major wardrobe malfunction. To make matters even worse, his date couldn't stop laughing. Like, full-on doubled over, tears streaming down her face kind of laughter. And you know what? I probably would have reacted the same way. It's just one of those situations that's so awkward and cringeworthy that you can't help but laugh. Number 6. The Culinary Catastrophe So you know how sometimes you try to impress your date by cooking them a fancy meal, but it just ends up being a total disaster? Well, that's exactly what happened to this guy we'll call Chris. Chris had been talking to this girl for a while, and he really wanted to wow her with his culinary skills. So he invited her over for a home-cooked meal, spent hours slaving away in the kitchen, and even set the table all fancy-like with candles and everything. But when his date arrived, things quickly went south. As soon as Chris opened the oven to take out the main course, a massive plume of smoke billowed out, setting off the fire alarm and filling the entire apartment with a thick, acrid haze. Can you even imagine being in that situation? One minute, you're feeling all suave and romantic, and the next, you're coughing and sputtering as smoke fills your lungs, and the fire department is on its way. Number 5. The Drunk Dialing Debacle We've all been there. You have a few too many drinks and suddenly, your ex seems like the greatest thing since sliced bread. But this next story takes drunk dialing to a whole new level of cringe. This girl, let's call her Emily, had been on a first date with this guy she really liked. Things were going well, they were vibing, and Emily was feeling pretty confident about the whole situation. But then she made the fatal mistake of having one too many glasses of wine. And you know what happens when you're a little too tipsy. That's right, the drunk texts and calls start flowing like a river. So there's Emily absolutely sloshed. Deciding that it would be a great idea to call her date and profess her undying love for him. Not just a simple I had a great time text, oh no. We're talking full-on poetic declarations of eternal devotion and discussing future children's names. Can you even imagine being on the receiving end of that? One minute you think the date went well and the next you're being bombarded with drunken confessions of love from someone you barely know. Talk about a major turn-off. Needless to say, Emily's date was less than impressed with her antics. In fact, he was so put off by the whole situation that he ghosted her completely. Yikes! Number 4. The Allergic Reaction Catastrophe All right, because this one's really doozy. You know how sometimes ye, you try to impress your date by taking them to this fancy schmancy restaurant. But it all just goes wrong. Well, that's precisely what happened to this poor guy we'll call Jake. Jake had been talking to this girl for a while. And he really wanted to sweep her off her feet with a romantic dinner at this swanky new place downtown. He made reservations weeks in advance, picked out the perfect outfit, and even splurged on a bouquet of flowers because he's just that kind of guy, you know. But as soon as they sat down and started looking over the menu, things turned for the worse. Jake's date had a severe shellfish allergy and, as you wouldn't know, the entire menu was filled with fancy seafood dishes. Most people in that situation would laugh it off, apologize for the mix-up, and suggest going elsewhere. But not Jake's date. Oh no, she was so embarrassed and flustered that she ended up having a full-blown allergic reaction at the table. Can you even imagine being in Jake's shoes? One minute you feel like a stud ready to wine and dine your date in style. The next, she's turning beet red, her throat is swelling up and you're desperately trying to flag down a server for an EpiPen. The evening did not go as planned. 
instead of a romantic candlelit dinner. Jake was riding in the back of an ambulance with his date, feeling like the biggest doofus in the universe. Number three, the mistaken identity mayhem. All right, get ready for some second-hand severe embarrassment with this one. You know how sometimes you see someone from across the room and you're absolutely convinced it's the person you're supposed to be meeting for a date. That's precisely what happened to this poor guy we'll call Ryan. Ryan had been talking to this girl online for a few weeks and they finally decided to meet for a first date at a local coffee shop. Ryan arrived early, ordered his drink and started scanning the room for his date. That's when he spotted a girl sitting alone in the corner, who he was sure was the one he'd been talking to. Without a second thought, Ryan strode over, flashed her his biggest, cheesiest grin and said, Hey there, beautiful. It's funny meeting you here. Except it wasn't his date at all. It was just some random girl who looked vaguely similar, but not the person Ryan was supposed to be meeting. Awkward doesn't even begin to cover it. Of course, as soon as Ryan realized his mistake, he turned roughly the same shade as a ripe tomato and started apologizing left and right, but the damage was already done. He had officially entered the cringe hall of fame. Number two, the autocorrect atrocity. This next story takes that to a new level of awkwardness and cringeworthiness. Alex had been talking to this girl he liked for a few weeks. Things were going well, they were vibing, and Alex felt pretty confident about the situation. He was so confident that he decided to shoot her a flirty text, telling her how much he was looking forward to their upcoming date. Except autocorrect had other plans. Instead of sending a sweet romantic message, Alex's phone decided to autocorrect a few keywords, turning his text into something far more X-rated than he'd intended. We're talking full on. Graphic descriptions of intimate activities. That would make even the raunchiest of frat boys blush. And to make matters even worse, Alex didn't realize his mistake until it was too late. The text had already been sent and read. One minute, you're thinking your date is a total sweetheart. The next, you're being bombarded with explicit, unsolicited sexts that would make a sailor blush. Needless to say, Alex's date was less than impressed with his accidental pornographic prose. In fact, she was so horrified and turned off that she immediately ghosted him, leaving poor Alex to wallow in his own mortified misery. Number one, the projectile vomit predicament. This final one is the kind of tale that will have you clutching your sides with laughter while simultaneously thanking your lucky stars it didn't happen to you. This one involves a girl named Jess who had been really hitting it off with this guy she'd been talking to for a few weeks. They decided to go out for a fancy dinner at this swanky new restaurant downtown and Jess felt pretty confident about the whole situation. But as soon as they sat down and started looking over the menu Jess felt a sudden wave of nausea wash over her. Maybe it was the rich, heavy scent of the food wafting through the air. Perhaps it was just good old-fashioned nerves. Whatever the reason, Jess's stomach was not having it. At first, she tried to power through, thinking the feeling would pass. But as the minutes ticked by, the nausea only grew worse and worse until finally, the inevitable happened. Jess projectile vomited all over the table, all over her date and all over the poor unsuspecting couple sitting next to them. Needless to say, the date did not go well after that. Jess was so mortified that she could barely even look her date in the eye, let alone attempt to salvage the evening. And her date? Well, let's just say, he didn't exactly handle the situation with grace and compassion. So there you have it. The cringiest, most hilarious dating fails you won't believe actually happened. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty good about my dating life now. At least I've never projectile vomited all over a crowded restaurant yet. But in all seriousness, we've all been there. Dating can be awkward, embarrassing and downright disastrous at times. 
But that's what makes these stories so relatable and iconic. Because at the end of the day, we're all just a bunch of messy humans trying to navigate the wild world of love and romance. So the next time you find yourself in the middle of a dating fail, just remember, at least you're not alone. We've all been there, done that, and lived to cringe another day. All right, that's a wrap, you all. Remember to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and share this video with all your friends. Trust me, they will get a kick out of these hilariously cringeworthy tales. Until next time, stay fresh, stay real, and for the love of all that is holy, stay away from projectile vomiting. Peace.